Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're gonna to make beef wellington. It's gonna be an amazing dish. Um, it's inspired by one of my favorite chefs, Gordon Ramsay. Um, so first what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna pan sear this, the uh, tenderloin to get all the edges. Um, we're also gonna make some creamy mashed potatoes and some garlic roasted green beans to go with it. Um, so I'm gonna start with the, the uh, tenderloin, get that seared off, and then uh, we're gonna chop up and mince up the mushrooms in the food processor here, and we'll start putting it together. Okay, so we're gonna start olive oil in the pan. Good amount. While that's warming up, we're going to salt and pepper tenderloin. Beef in. Okay, tenderloins all seared. We're gonna uh, put our mushrooms in the food processor. Get those chopped down. And once we get those chopped down, we're gonna cook them off just because of the amount of water that's in them. So you don't want a lot of water. You want this to kind of be like a, like a paste um, to build with. So chop these down, we'll cook them off, and we'll be back. Okay, so in that same pan that we seared the tenderloin in, we're gonna drop in and heat up and cook off the moisture in those mushrooms that we just chopped and minced up in the food processor. Some big chunks is okay. Um, try not to use them on the side, but um, really this is gonna help bring the flavors together. So we're gonna heat this up, cook the, cook the water. All right guys, you see how the uh, water's coming out? and it's starting to cook down those mushrooms real nice. Um, it's gonna pull the flavor out of the pan as well. Uh, so we're gonna cook those down until they're basically dry. Uh, we're gonna make a paste out of them. I'm gonna get the uh, pursuit ready on the plastic wrap, and we'll start building this thing and go from there. All right guys, the mushrooms are uh, just about cooked off. Basically all that water came out. Um, it's starting to dry out a little bit. A little clump there. Um, so, you don't want to overcook them either, um, but you just want that moisture. You don't have too much excess moisture in there. So we're going to let these cool for a minute and then we're going to start putting it together. Okay guys, we got the uh, prosciutto laid out on a piece of plastic wrap. You just want to basically make like a little blanket. Um, let the mushrooms cool down a little bit. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to spread an even layer over the top. Use the back of the spoon. Put the tenderloin right in the middle and wrap it. Get it nice and tight wrapped. Okay, so there it is all spread out. Um, before you put your tenderloin on your wrap, we are going to um, baste it with some English mustard. All right, guys, here it is. The tenderloin in the mushroom and pursuit wrap. Um, I basted it with the English mustard. And now we're gonna wrap it up and let it chill in the refrigerator for about 15, 20 minutes. And then we'll get ready to put the pie crust okay, on. Okay guys, there it is, all wrapped up. It is a pain in the butt, so take your time. Don't rush it. Get it as tightly as possible. And get your ends twisted in. Ends are twisted in. I did an extra layer on the outside of it just to help keep it together. So like I said, we're gonna put that in the refrigerator for about 15, 20 minutes, let it cool down. 
um, and then we'll get it ready for the pie crust. Okay, guys, here it is. <clears throat> the uh, beef wellington is on the pie crust. Um, it looks like I'm going to have to use that second piece of pie crust just because of the size of it, um, which is okay. There's no problem with that. Um, you just have a little bit thicker of a crust. Um, but I'm going to wrap this up, and then we're going to do that tight wrap with the plastic wrap again and put it back in the refrigerator and let it firm up for about an hour, and then we'll get ready to put it in the oven. Okay, so now we're gonna egg wash it, put some lines on it to make it look pretty, and then we're gonna throw it in the oven.